Bad luck played a part in Fulham's latest defeat to Nobby Solano's late winner for West Ham. But Roy Hodgson will need more than luck against free-scoring Manchester United after their latest destruction of Newcastle. The five they scored against them last time out made it 11 in two matches against the Geordies, with Cristiano Ronaldo again prominent, giving his manager plenty to celebrate after more drop points by Arsenal. It was a Ronaldo double at Old Trafford that means United have already beaten Fulham this season. Hello and welcome to Craven Cottage for the meeting of Fulham and Manchester United. It's second from bottom against second from top, with the possibility that Manchester United could be heading the Premier League tonight if results go their way both here and at the Emirates Stadium. But it's here that they must concentrate on as Mike Dean, the referee, leads out the two teams. Fulham with just one win since Roy Hodgson took charge. That in the Premier League here against Aston Villa. But now facing a Manchester United side who, despite the blip against Manchester City, can afford, they feel, to leave out Cristiano Ronaldo today. He having scored in the last four meetings with Fulham, including both of the goals when United beat them 2-0 at Old Trafford back in December. It is a rotated team by Sir Alec Ferguson, bearing in mind that they have not only the Premier League on their list of priorities, but also the Champions League, and with an important match against Lyon to come this week, it was always likely that Sir Alec Ferguson would make alterations to his lineup, and he has duly done that. Let's look at the two teams. On St David's Day, Fulham have Welshman Simon Davis back from suspension, just as Leon Andreasen serves one for his sending off against West Ham. Eddie Johnson, the fifth American to join up with the squad, makes his first start, and there's a return for Moritz Volz, the only Fulham survivor from their only Premier League win over United. Edwin van der Sar was a Fulham player then. He and Lewis Sahar returned to their old club today. Sahar is one of five changes to the team that put five past Newcastle. Despite the fact that every United loss has coincided with the absence of Wayne Rooney, both he and Cristiano Ronaldo are on the bench today. Well, one of the great things about the Premier League is that there is no such thing as a foregone conclusion. It was a pretty significant win for Manchester United here last year. A late bit of inspiration from Cristiano Ronaldo securing the victory that aided their momentum towards the final title push. And even though Manchester United come into this game in second place in the table, there are many who feel that after the last Premier League weekend, the force is with them. Bearing in mind Arsenal slip, the horrendous injury suffered by Eduardo, the post-match reaction from William Gallas. But can Fulham turn things around again here today? They have in Simon Davis, a player who once had a trial at Manchester United when he was a Peterborough player, but he wasn't taken on there. And instead, via Tottenham, applies his Premier League trade here at Craven Cottage. As you can see from the uh, shirts on one or two of the uh, players that we've looked at, it is a very windy day here, and I wonder, if David Proven, if that will have a significant effect. I think it'll certainly affect the decision-making of the two goalkeepers, Rob. I think they might be a bit more reluctant than they would otherwise to come for crosses today. The, the wind is swirling all over the, the place. It's not really blowing in any particular direction this afternoon. But uh, either way... I don't think anyone here expects other than a very stern examination for this Fulham side, even with Rooney and Ronaldo on the bench today. Well, despite the managerial change that they made over Christmas, there's been no drastic upturn in fortunes since Laurie Sanchez made way for first Ray Lewington in a caretaker capacity and then the arrival of Roy Hodgson. But it would be a significant fillip for their season if they can get anything out of this. Two goalkeepers changing ends. 
Anthony Amy, a successor here for Edwin van der Sar. Roy Hobson, a very experienced campaigner with many clubs under his belt, looking for a significant win here. So, one of those rare occasions when Manchester United, Arsenal and Chelsea are all kicking off at the same time as this three-way battle for the Premier League develops. Manchester United looking to make headway and then hopeful favours elsewhere. Here's Jimmy Bullard finding himself crowded out, and that's John O'Shea. I can think you see already, Rob, that Bullard is the one of the midfield players will be asked to, to go and support McBride up front. Roy Hodgson has sacrificed a striker for an extra midfielder today, understandably so. To try and make the central area a bit more busy for Manchester United. Clint Dempsey in the 16, but a former Manchester United player and Eric Nevland on the Fulham bench today. This is Simon Davis, now Danny Murphy. And he's found Paul Stalteri. This is Moritz Holtz, he and Murphy, the two holding players in that Fulham midfield. Now Paul Scholes looking for Tevez. And here's John O'Shea. This is Jisung Park. Tevez, Scholes, Tevez again. Looking to pick out Nani. Stalteri holding him up. Here's Nani, who, despite being expected to be a part time player this season, has made himself more significant than that lately, certainly. Here's Johnson. Bullard, who started the move, made a run ahead of Johnson there. I think you see the early problem, though, of, you know, when Johnson got the ball, he only had one white jersey in a more advanced position, and that was Brian McBride, and they're going to have to try and get company up beside him. If there's a trouble Manchester United here today, Fulham really a side at the moment who can't buy a goal. And it's difficult to see where it's going to come from this afternoon. It's Rio Ferdinand. Played by Eric Hughes, Johnson has giving it away to Nani. Nani looking to get the better of Stalteri, played by Hughes. I did well to make the angle for the cross there, Nani. Very, very quick feet to get down the outside, and Hughes did well to, to cover that front post area. You can see even this early how wide United are making the pitch, you know, parking one side, Nani the other, right out in the touchline, pulling those two full and full-backs out wide. Here's Scholes, now Owen Hargreaves, this is Tevez. Murphy came back to close him down, cut out by Davis, but Tevez keeps it moving here for John O'Shea. In towards Lewis Sahar, it's fallen here for Nani. Scholes has gone on the outside as Nani tries to curl one. That well, was the offer from Paul Scholes that Lester Terry caught two against one there, and Nani just trying to find the top right-hand corner. Didn't quite open his foot enough, but a bright and breezy start from United. With Sahar, who was part of a Fulham team that got promoted to this division before his move to Manchester United. Where he's never really fulfilled what he's capable of, mainly because of injury. Rio Ferdinand has been the most consistent in terms of appearances this season, more for United than any other player in the squad. This is Hangerland. Now Volts, layoff by Johnson, this is Bullard. Scholes came in with a tackle, this is Danny Murphy. Davis, away by Ferdinand to Hargreaves, caught then by Simon Davis. Free kick taken and the flag has stayed down here for Lewis Aha. Well, from the quick free kick, Fulham very nearly caught out. I think he's on side, Rob. Very tight. Hughes and Stolteri just held there looking for offside. A lot of space in behind. Good early free kick from Paul Scholes. Nice touch from Saham. What a miss. First touch is exquisite here to get it out of his body. And even though he's got to take it on the half ball, he should do an awful lot better. A sight of goal for 
Lewis Sahar. He has scored three against them since he left Fulham. He was leaving it to Stalteri. His missed kick gives Fulham a problem here. Tevez. Now Scholes. Here's Bullard. And he invited trouble then from Scholes. That's away by Hengeland. Fulham making one or two problems for themselves there. Scholes. Hargreaves. Here's Evra. Rio Ferdinand. Way by Hangeland. This is Paul Konczewski. Suspicious of starts for him. Now Nani. Tevez has a go! And Niemi got enough on it to clear and was fortunate that Hangeland was alive to that. A very decent save. The ball kicked up just in front of him. Did well. Here's Scholes. Now O'Shea. Got away from Konczewski. Bullard. Now Volts. Konczewski. The six yard area is looking the most well worn part of this pitch, so that effort then did have the potential to catch the Amy Cold. It did well to uh, keep Tevez at bay. Here's Murphy. And Stalteri. Danny Murphy. Here's Johnson. Stalteri claiming he was held back then by West Brown, but nothing given. If it is a decision to be made, it's to be made by the assistant who's no more than a couple of yards away. He had a good look at it, it decided nothing doing. Johnson. There's Bullard. It's Johnson's ball across. Cleared by John O'Shea, only to Danny Murphy! Great effort from Murphy, producing a fine save! That certainly was. Looked as if it was going to find the inside of the far post there. Danny Murphy taking it on the full volley. And I think it's only the, the very end of the fingertips here from Edwin van der Sar that does enough for United. Terrific save. A brilliant stop from the former Fulham goalkeeper. And from the corner, he gets hands to it. Now Volts. Johnson, Bullard, Johnson again, Danny Murphy who's conjured the perfect response to the pressure that Fulham have found themselves under, the Amy making the reaction at one save and Van der Sar at the other, good spell this for the home side, Murphy, Carlos Tevez, when Aaron Hughes backed off and was always going to take the shot on in this position. He does well, make sure he gets his gloves and his body behind the shot. And after that, he needs the protection of his centre-backs. And it's Hangeland who's in first to, to get the ball clear. On by Nani, here's Lewis Sahar.
Evra. Cleared by Aaron Hughes. Evra. And his ball across. Cleared by Hangerland. And then Stalteri. Skulls. Just giving him a problem. Yes, hang on. Now Volts. from Tevez. Headed by McBride. Scott's coming back and O'Shea first to it against Simon Davis, but this is Danny Murphy. Volts. Shoulder of West Brown. Here's Ferdinand. West Brown. Park just pulling away from Kincheski. Nani. And when they come off their spectacular, and when they don't. It has to go down as a half chance, well picked out there by Park. Kincheski caught wrong side as United switched the play. Certainly played of Nani's technique is capable, even from that angle. Volts is header for the corner. Nani with a kick. Well, arrived, it's come to Scholes. Now Park. Yeah, dealt with by Kincheski. Good defending. Previous to that terrific block there from Hangeland, who was so quick to get out and press the ball. As Paul Scholes got the shot away. Seen him almost burst the net on so many occasions with efforts like that. Paul Scholes, and well to close him out. Here's Nani. Scholes. Here it's by Aaron Hughes. Mark Reeves. Goals. Park, Tevez, Park again. Yeah. I think Mike Dean was trying to allow play to develop, but there was certainly a, a full challenge there on Tevez as he took the ball in on the edge of the box. You're just trying to see if there's any advantage in it for United. There's none at all. It's Hangeland on Tevez. This that Sir Alec Ferguson had hoped to have <laughs> yeah. had Ronaldo in yeah. the starting well, lineup. Even in his absence, Rob, it looks as if there are three or four who, who fancy it, and no wonder from this, this range and this angle. Quarter of an hour gone, and Niemi has already had to react quickly to keep out Carlos Tevez. Sees Tevez as one of the contenders for this. Now he's moving away, leaving it to Nani and Hargreaves. Jimmy Bullard belatedly coming back to. 
form part of the defensive screen. It's Hargreaves! It's his first goal for Manchester United! I think when the ball is struck as sweetly as that, the goalkeeper is never going to get there. And he's got a wall of six in front of him there, Anthony Emi, so he doesn't see the ball being struck. The first time he sees it, it's coming over the wall, and by that time it's too late. He actually finishes in the inside of the side netting. Wonderful piece of technique from Hargreaves to get it up and down as quickly from just 19 yards. Wonderful effort. Well, it was worth the wait. Nearly two years since his last goal in the German Cup semi-final for Bayern Munich. Owen Hargreaves finally sees it hit the back of the net for Manchester United. Fulham, who felt that luck deserted them in the last game against West Ham. Unhappy, actually, about the award of the free kick that led to that goal for Owen Hargreaves. Well, the way he stopped that, Robert, is to have a defender on the post, you know, when it's in the a central area, and that was dead centre. The alternative is to have a defender on the post, then you're playing the opposition on side. It's a difficult choice. This was a free kick by Hangeland on, on Tevez. I don't think Tevez needed much encouragement to go to ground, but I, I certainly think he was fouled. Yes, goals. who won the free kick. Hargreaves took the opportunity to give Manchester United the lead from it. Free kick given away by Hengeland. Murphy Davis Hangerland cut out by Rio Ferdinand Volts Fayed, the plight of Fulham looks increasingly desperate. This is the sort of game, and if you get anything out of it, it's a bonus. Many more tricky games to come. Blackburn and Everton up next to Fulham. Here's Volts. No shave of the throw. Here's Park. Jimmy Bullard. They hang together at the moment, Phil. I the impression the way United are playing that if they do get a second, they just about put this match to bed even this early. Manchester United showed themselves pretty merciless against Newcastle in both games against Newcastle. Whenever they sense weakness, they, uh, they tend to show themselves to be really strong United. You would fear for Fulham, whose confidence must be brittle anyway if United were to get another early one. Evra, here's Nani. Liverpool being fouled by Sahar. He'd be quite happy to take the free kick, gets Fulham out after a sustained spell of United pressure. This is the moment that mattered. Hargreaves, great action on the ball. Yeah, we can only watch it hit the inside of the, the side netting. It was as a result of this challenge from, from Hangelin. Look the free kick to me. On by McBride, Ferdinand. Cleared by Stalteri, here's Johnson, 
Now Jimmy Bullard, Murphy. Davis, here's Voltz. To slide in McBride, but uh, too much on it for him, and Konczewski not there in time. Well, he made a lovely angle there, Brian McBride. He's not the quickest, but he peeled off there into the channel. Pass just a little bit too heavy. Danny Murphy, who could have given Fulham the lead earlier in the match. This clearance here from John O'Shea, who did well to tuck in. Good first touch from Murphy. And that was a terrific save there from Van der Sar. Full stretch. Didn't have struck that much. Sweeter on the full volley, Danny Murphy. That's a super save. Well, he's been Manchester United's conqueror before. Three times in his Liverpool days, he scored winning goals against them. But the shock of that Hargreaves free kick scored since Murphy's effort makes Fulham's task all the more difficult here now. Konczewski. Here's Jimmy Bullard. Now Murphy. Van der Sar, who had four seasons with Fulham. Won all five matches against his old club since leaving here. Here's Davis. Taken by Simon Davis, here's Jimmy Bullard. It's Davis who's played it in, cleared by Every. He was a bit uncertain about that. I'm surprised that Johnson didn't attack at the back post, Rob. It's not the worst ball in the world, and Everett doesn't know what's going on behind him. Horrible ball for him to deal with. Lee Murphy uh, struggling with injury at the moment. Here's Scholes, now Nani. Into Tevez, he's found the gap for Park, and Chesky got across. Konczewski, here's Bullard. Danny Murphy. Here's O'Shea. Skulls. Evra. Now Nani. Has a go! Oh, what a go. It's a terrific angle Nani makes to receive the pass. Just gets in the inside of Stalteri, who's caught in his heels. And the minute he gets it out of his right hand side, the only one thing in his mind get the shot away, this couldn't have been far away moving right to left, this moves a little bit too much for him, but he left still Terry for dead there with the run into the, the inside left channel well, he showed a liking for the spectacular when he has scored, Nani well, he celebrates as much as the way he uh, delivers the goal With a touch of extravagance from him there Here's Murphy. Bullard. Evra. Bullard claiming he was fouled. Sahar. Scholes. Angle with the interception in front of Jason Park. Here's Danny Murphy. Bullard. Stelteri. Brown. They're certainly going to have to make the most of set pieces for them. They might not get too many chances in open play. So set piece. Particularly the release of Hangeland given his height. McBride very good in the air. So down to the delivery here. Back and forth. Konczewski throw into the box here.
in a cross that Edwin van der Sar takes very comfortably. On by Nani, away by Hangeland. Here's Hargreaves. Tevez. Moritz Holtz for a corner. Tevez has given Fulham a real problem just by, by his movement. At times he's dropping off between the midfield and, and Fulham's back line. Hangeland's reluctant to go all the way with him. He's looking for Murphy or Volks to pick him up, but he's getting a lot of freedom at the moment, Carlos Tevez. And his kick scores with a header! Fine save! Now Simon Davis is saying who's picking him up. The bottom line is that nobody's picking him up. You look at the freedom Paul Scholes get. Doesn't get it clean at all. I think it comes off his shoulder. Just as well for Fulham. Well, a good response from Niemi, who did have Murphy on the post, just as insurance from the corner. I think they could have had a problem if Brown had got to that. There's a big appeal goes up. Was he pushed Dalteri, who looked to be all over Wes Brownier as he attacked the front post? Big appeal. Well, significantly enough, not from the player himself. Here's Sahar. Wins his battle with Hughes. Scholes has got into the middle again. Here's Tevez. Well, United all over Fulham at the moment. Very quick from Tevez to, to make the space to get the shot away. Just a little drop of the shoulder to lose Morris Volks. Trying to find the inside of that far post, didn't get his foot round it. So United in irresistible for him. It's the free header from Scholes, doesn't get it clean at all. And Yemi did well at full stretch. Hangerland. Hargreaves. Sahar. Now O'Shea. Ferdinand. Brown. Here's Scholes. Ferdinand. Hughes won the header, and this is Volts. He's sliding across. Volts, though, keeping it going for Johnson. It's Jimmy Bullard. He had the option there, he had Brian McBride making a run for him, but he's capable from that kind of range. Wes Brown well positioned here, just steps out, stands his ground. It's going to take something very special to beat Van der Sar from that angle. Terry. Well, McBride has only scored once this season and dislocated his knee in doing so against Middlesbrough. Here's Hargreaves. Mood now, isn't he? Well, Danny Murphy, you know, as soon as Hargreaves got the ball, Danny Murphy trying to squeeze, trying to press the ball because he knows that Hargreaves is capable. We've already seen a great example of his technique. It's a half hearted appeal for a penalty here against Eddie Johnson. Certainly kicked up onto his right arm, but it's not extended. I'd be surprised that Mike Dean given it.
Scores. Here's Tevez. Just expected too much of Lewis Sahar. Hangerland. Konczewski. One loss to Fulham in Sir Alec Ferguson's Manchester United reign, and that was at Old Trafford. Here's Nanny. Lovely skill to take him past Altieri. Now he's got to try and beat him yet again. And that's within his range too. Unbelievable skill there from Manny. Well, to take the ball down in the first place. Looked as if he was on a loser here, but somehow managed to keep in with his head. But this is just wonderful. Well, there's certainly good value for money this United side, are they not? And so Terry, who's pretty long in the tooth, knows he's in for a big test here. Well, he got some stick for so-called showboating against uh, Arsenal, didn't Annie? But uh, that was altogether different, wasn't it, then? Here's Bullard with a free kick. Killed by Scholes, now Tevez. Volts has lost his footing and Tevez vaulted over him. Free kick given. Yeah, I don't think it's a deliberate foul, but it was certainly a trip there on Volts from Tevez. Here's Bullard. Turned into trouble with Nani. Hughes retrieves and finds Stalteri. Here's Jimmy Bullard. Johnson. Oh, got a touch. Want to give him free kick in the corner. Give him a free kick. Nothing worth for him to any of the ball at all. It is a free kick. Possibilities here then for Fulham. Bullard's kick, and Murphy's there, right at van der Sar. Well, they're queuing up at the back post, so many red jerseys drawn towards the front post here. Obviously concerned about Hangeland and Aaron Hughes. Danny Murphy round the back. Could even have taken a touch here, he had enough time. Trying to get the header away as quickly as possible, and it's straight down van der Sar's throat. Well positioned. Here's Bullard. Now Ebra. Scores with a kick. Here's Tevez. Three day here. O'Shea. Hargreaves. Now Park. Well, Mike Dean just saying he's given the previous one. Again, just trying to let play develop in, in Park's favour there. They pulled it back. Miller takes plenty of the ball there. That's not the one that was given. Here's Ferdinand. Now Brown. Hargreaves. Nanny. 
Evra, good turn away from Johnson. Sahar's there, but so to his skulls. They try to bring it down, good ahead to first time in the volley. Lovely little turn here from Evra. Loses Johnson, gets it in early. Goal skulls, surprised he didn't take it first time. He's trying to get it down here with his first touch. The timing of the run, just typical of the midfielder. Not picked up. Gadon has a good chance in his book. Boots are enough to dazzle anybody, and uh, I'm sure the glare, as much as anything else, affecting Stelteri today. So we showed him a clean pair of heels earlier. Davis, Hughes, Angerland. Here's Rio Ferdinand. Brought it back, Mike Dean. He's tried to play the advantage, and there was certainly one there for Morris Fox. He's stepping onto a decent shooting opportunity there. Had Mike Dean not brought the play back, he had his back to how play was developing here, didn't he? He's certainly have given it a moment or two, Mike Dean, to see what was on for Fulham, and there was plenty on for Morris Fox. Bullard's kick, cleared by Ferdinand, who found Nani. And here's Danny Murphy. Eddie Johnson. Murphy. I made a good angle, Danny Murphy. Love a little threaded ball, but again, it's just too heavy there for, for Johnson down the outside. There's been a decent response from Fulham after going to goal down. Worry for Roy Hodgson at that stage was had they lost a second, this could end up 5 6. They're still well in the game, it just won down. Well, it must have crossed the Fulham manager's mind that having been stung by that City defeat, Manchester United had responded with four against Arsenal in the FA Cup, five against Newcastle in the Premier League. And with that early goal here inside a quarter of an hour, it might have spelt similar problems. For Hodgson's side. But they've recovered a bit of their composure. They've carried something of a threat, mainly with Danny Murphy. Johnson, now Murphy. Yes, Hughes. Stalteri. Back by Rio Ferdinand. Hughes with a header back. Here's Konczewski. Volts. Now Murphy. Goals. Ferdinand. Park. Tevez. Sahar. Konczewski. Again, it was United's ability to get the ball into the feet of Tevez that caused the problem there. And he's the one who's slipping the two Fulham centre-backs when he's dropping off. And he's the one who's doing all the linking here. Saha, on the other hand, looking for it, knocked over the top.
Adams swapped the two wide players, United. Danny coming over to the right-hand side, much I'm sure to cost Terry's relief. And after a delayed throw-in, Evra has uh, committed the sin of a foul throw. Here's Aaron Hughes. Johnson now vaults. Murphy. Bullard. Murphy. I think there are times here that Fulham are just overplaying. Brian McBride at times desperate to see the ball coming in a little bit earlier. There's nothing coming in at all for him to go and attack. It's a full throw given against Everett. Toes just over the line. There's Park. And hit it for full skulls. And this is Davis. And McBride. Chesky. Davis, off Nanny's head, Ferdinand leading into it, off the chest, says Mike Dean, despite the cry of hands from the Fulham crowd. Park. O'Shea. Ferdinand, here's Brown. Davis. Volts. That's Terry. Here's Bullard. And for McBride. That's the ball that Brian McBride is looking for. So it's a poor delivery from Bullard, but that's the ball he wants. It's knocked into the back post. Here's Sahar. Tevez in the middle. There he is. Well, again, he doesn't get it clean. It's a terrific chance because he gets a yard there on Hangeland. Beautifully picked out from Sahar. Has he given, given offside against him? Great set-up play from Sahar here. And this comes off Tevez's shoulder. Couldn't have been offside because he's behind the ball as it comes in, as it's played. Here's Hughes. On by Johnson. Now Bullard. Volts. Johnson showing interest. Sar again looking for Sahar from his clearance. And again he got the flick on to Carlos Tevez. Here's Nani. It's Skulls on the outside. Yes! Park makes it two. Right on the brink of half-time. That's great set-up from Paul Skulls to get down the outside. Maybe not as mobile these days as he once was, Paul Skulls, but what a good run. He makes down the outside. The play switched. Well, Nani needed the runner, and it's Paul Scholes who made the offer. Delightful cross, just hangs it up into the central area. And Park gets across the front of Stalteri. Stalteri just caught. What a good header from Park. And again, from that range, there's nothing that Antiniemi can do. After his birthday, Jason Park celebrates with his first goal away from Old Trafford. And a goal that secures Manchester United's position in this match.
one added minute in the first half. One minute added time is being played in the first half. A minimum of one minute added time. Here's Davis. Bullard. Murphy. Oh, despair for the Fulham manager who was always facing an uphill struggle anyway. I don't think he's got much choice at all. I think he's going to have to get another striker on here. Could end up with a real beating if he does that, but the game's gone as we stand. Here's Skulls. Ferdinand. Now Brown. Clearing headed by Hangerland. Tevez. Hargreaves. Well, Manchester United in clear control with a goal inside the first quarter of an hour. His first for the club for Owen Hargreaves. And then another right on the brink of half-time, a first of the season for G Sung Park. And at the break, it's Manchester United leading Fulham here by two goals to nil. Well, it was 2-0 to United when these sides met in December, but even without Ronaldo, who scored both that day, United have established the same sort of lead here inside just 45 minutes of won their last six Premier League games against Fulham Manchester United and Ronaldo scored in the last four and uh, Ebra <laughs> yet again <laughs> from a throw-in that must be a record two full throw-ins given against them very rarely you'll see that he changes his mind here sloppy isn't it Park. United starting the second half with the uh, change that they made during that first half and Nani on the right and Park here on the left. Here's Skulls. Now Lewis Sahar. And this is Everett. Van der Sar has made some important saves to keep United in this position. Even before United had scored their first, it was a good save from Danny Murphy. Here's Brown. Now Lewis Sahar, Stolls, O'Shea, Nani, here's Tevez, no free kick given against Hangelan. Again, off you know, Tevez dropping off, getting the ball into feet, getting turned and getting running at defenders. And Hangelan, you know, if, if Danny Murphy's not going to pick Tevez up when he drops off, Hangelan's going to have to go all the way with him. Here's Murphy, Tevez coming back at him, and winning it for Hargreaves. And Tevez in a real battle there, eventually winning it from Volts. Now O'Shea, here's Scholes. Evra, Scholes, now Tark. Saha, given away to Bullard, now Murphy. Retrieved by Nani, who gets it back from O'Shea. Francesky stepping in. That was a, a hopeful appeal at best there from Francesky. I think it was a surprise to get the award. Given away by Murphy, here's Scholes. Well, they're making it hard for themselves now, Phil. I think Roy Horsham would have been thinking, you know, even if, if we lose this game, we'll make United work for anything they get, and at times they've just invited pressure onto themselves by giving it away needlessly. Here's Evra. Volts. One back by Evra. Hargreaves. Skulls. Here's Nani. Tevez. A 
too much on it. There's Davis. Now McBride offside. United held a very good line there. The appeal was made immediately. Oh, McBride reckons not. Just dropped off to the left hand side there, Brian McBride. Did he go a little bit early? Yeah, he's away. Half a yard at most. It's tight. It's a good line though from United. With the uh, formality of putting the ball in the net anyway, but McBride had long since been flagged off. Here's McBride. One back by Nanny. Belatedly, <laughs> after Kincheski's challenge. Well, just, well, there's no reason for him to go down unless he was clipped or off. I know he does go down late, but I think it can only be as a result of being clipped earlier on. As well to evade Koncheski. I'm still in possession of the ball. I don't think the ball's getting away from him. I don't know why he would go down unless he was clipped. He didn't get any sympathy from the referee. There's Johnson. Back by Brown. <laughs> just shoved aside that time by Pincheski. Scholes. Close down. Lord Scholes really effectively then, but the free kick given. Yeah, it's great pressing from Paul Scholes. I think it. I think it is a free kick. I think it's the correct decision. But how quickly was Scholes onto him there? Manchester United say what every bit is hard when they don't have it as they do when they have. Here's Stalteri. Park doing the defending this time. Here's Jimmy Bullard again. Scholes in sharply. Hughes. Angerland. Now Johnson, can he shrug off Ebra? Jimmy Bullard. Vaults. Never really got it, did he? Hargreaves out quickly to the ball again. Vaults had to, to get the shot away quickly. And doesn't really get his foot through it here. On oh, Hargreaves getting out to him quickly. He didn't have much to hit from that angle. Hargreaves. Kincheski. Murphy. McBride. Here's Bullard. Murphy. Hughes. Caught then by Scholes. I don't think there's an awful lot of contact here. Will have may feel that he had to, to get off the ground because he saw a challenge coming, but not convinced there's a lot of contact. And Bullard was testing Scholes' tolerance there, chipping away verbally. And even at 2-0 up. Paul Scholes still pressing the ball so quickly, every opportunity. No contact there for me. Bullard has to get his feet off the ground because he sees the challenge coming, so it is a free kick. I don't think he caught him. Up goes O'Shea. And here's Nanny. Sahar. Uh -huh. 
side of the line. who's used to being used as a substitute this season, but we expect to get a fair number of opportunities in this latter part of the season with United still battling on three fronts. Here's Tevez. Trying to play Nani. into the path of Franceschi, cleared by Bullard, back to uh, Danny Murphy. Third now, here's Bullard. Now Volts. Brown away, Skulls with a touch. Here's Park. Sahar. Hughes, it's come out to Nani. He took a big move there, that's why he made such a, an awful stop there for Antoniemi. Ball moved a fair bit in the air. Ferdinand. Here's O'Shea. Looking at him, saying he wanted it short, but with this pace, you can see why it was dropped over the top for him by Hargreaves. Strong bench today for <laughs> Manchester United. That's not bad insurance policy, is it? Insurance policy that the way things are going will not be needed. Johnson, Bullard, now Murphy, Moritz Waltz, Bullard, well, I think he had to take it early, I don't think he's going to get her. an awful lot of touches in there, Wes Brown right in his face there and Jimmy Bullard had to take this on first time, just trying to get the inside of his left foot around the ball, didn't quite catch it properly, a nice build up there from Fulham. It's their seventh consecutive season in the Premier League. Fulham, their longest stretch in the top flight, was uh, nine years, which was uh, up until 40 years ago. But their grip on Premier League football at the moment is being loosened with every passing week. Here's Stalteri, not even really a corner out of Patrice Evra, although that touch gave Bullard a chance. Scholes trying to stop Johnson. Everest clearance falling for Volts here. And he takes it on Moritz Volts. It was deflected and it's a corner. I think he's going to nick off Everett there at full stretch. Everett throwing himself. He's found a little pocket of room here on the edge of the box, Moritz Volts. It's a big touch here from Everett. Enough to get it wide. Decent spell this for Fulham. And they bring themselves renewed hope. Konczewski plays it in. And they all hesitated, and Johnson! Oh, Patrice Everett had tucked right into the central area, and Johnson had it all his own way at the back post. I wonder if Fulham are waiting and the flagging up here. Certainly on side, Johnson on the far side, plays it into a good area. No real support, though. Oh, for a moment then, it was almost as though time stood still. Evra. Now Stalteri. Volts. 
McBride. Here's Murphy. Simon Davis vaults. Cleared by O'Shea. Here's Hangerland. A fairly tame start to the second half by Fulham, but uh, in the last few minutes, a little bit more encouragement for them. Here's Hughes. On by Davis. Ferdinand gets it away from McBride, kept in by Simon Davis. Now Stalteri, Bullard. Hughes. Scholes. Johnson. It's Ferdinand. Sahar. So he's given the free kick and he should be given the free kick there, Mike Dean. He's saying he tried to allow the, the, the play to go, but for a head injury, I'm surprised he didn't stop the game immediately. He won the ball well, Nani Bay was certainly caught late. See a little shot here, Ebra did well, the solo was boot enough to get it wide. Now Park. Tevez, here's Scholes. And towards the heart. It was almost a delightful feed there with the outside of the right foot from Paul Scholes. Spotted the run of Sahar immediately. And just a fraction heavy with the ball over the, the top. Ferdinand. Waltz, Davis, Murphy, Stolteri. Danny Murphy's ball clipped over for Morris Waltz. Brown was struggling with that, pulled him back. I think he just ended up wrong side there, Wes Brown. His first touch took him the wrong side of Waltz. Giving away a free kick and a very decent position here for Fulham. Always going to win this, but that touch there left on wrong side of Volks. Then the hand goes up. I don't think Mike Dean had a choice. Very nice angle here now for Jimmy Bullard to throw something in. And Bullard delivers. And it's cleared by John O'Shea. Back in by Stolteri, McBride climbs, Hangeland's there, Eddie Johnson. Oh, back come off Ferdinand, it might have caused a problem. Well, they've had a few of them, but they've had to snatch at them because they've had red jerseys right in their face. Two good knockdowns, first from McBride, then Hangeland. United out to press the ball quickly, and Johnson again has to snatch. I like Nanny, colourful footwear. 
Not the end product of that so far, though, from Eddie Johnson. Substitution of the afternoon coming up here now as Stanley Murphy breaks away for the arrival of Alexi Smirtin. Smirtin has been left out for the last five games. They pushed Eddie Johnson right up front. Great playing right hand side now. Here's Volts. And here is Johnson. McBride. Volts. Jimmy Bullard. Let's come back off Ferdinand to Johnson. Bullard. Now Davis. And by McBride. That's ever away. Well, you can't knock them for, for spirit here this goal inside. No sign of the white flag, you know, they still feel they're in this. Johnson. Hargreaves. Davis. Well, on that occasion, he did have a little bit more time than he thought. John O'Shea, the nearest Manchester United player. A few yards away, had a bit of time there to steady himself, Simon Davis. Well, still giving Sir Alex Ferguson one or two anxious moments. Had nothing to show for it, Rob. You know, for all Fulham's better play for all their effort, just nothing to show for it. It's Sahar, now Evra. Run back by Tevez, Hargreaves, Nani. Here's Tevez. On a corner. He sent him a little bit too wide there, Tevez. Terrific challenge on the edge of the box here from Hangelan to get out to Tevez initially. And that's the danger for Fulham. You know, when they're having a good spell in the match, they're always liable to be caught with the sucker punch at the other end. And this can't be good news for Roy Hodgson. Hey, hey, hey. Nice corner. Cleared by Smirt into Owen Hargreaves. O'Shea, now Evra. Here's Scholes. There's playing the push from uh, Hangerland. Now Evra. Tevez. Evra has won a corner. He plays the corner short to Tevez. Well, they made difficult then for Nani. Here's Evra. Rooney and Ronaldo to come on at the same time. Here's Park. Scholes, O'Shea, Scholes, anticipated by Hangeland, away by Smirtin, Ferdinand, now O'Shea, it's Park, blocked by Hangeland, Scholes! Well, Hangeland did well to get out early, lovely first touch there by Park, got himself turned, defender did well to squeeze. Manchester United substitution coming up. So Wayne Rooney really comes on one short of his 50th Premier League goal for Manchester United, and Ronaldo comes on one short of his 30th goal in all competitions this season. Carlos Tevez 
is coming off. Coming off is number nine, Louis Sahar. Coming on is number ten, really on for him. And no goal against his old club this week for Louis Sahar, who scored in the last game against one of his old sides, Newcastle, but hasn't repeated the dose against Fulham here. Ronaldo, who has scored in the last four games against Fulham. Here's Johnson. Well to keep it in. And here's Ebra. Stateri tangling with Nani. Rooney, Smertin, now Davis, here's McBride, Jimmy Bullard, so Shea away, Park, Ronaldo, typically extravagant, Park, Rooney, well on side, Wayne Rooney, because Hangelan was the deepest there. Skin down the outside there by Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's Park. Good save. Very good save. Worst sight of all for a goalkeeper. Yemi did well to, to get down to his left. He's starting to get sliced open a little bit too often, I'm sure, for Roy Hodgson's liking here. Through the legs there of Hangelan. Terrific change of pace to get down the outside there, and Anglin has to pay to get back in. A demonstration of the, the confidence of Ronaldo at the moment. That's a wonder given his goals tally. Here's O'Shea. Hargreaves. Park. O'Shea. <laughs> Simon Davis, who was caught wrong side here with the, the, the ball inside. Good build up play again from United. Down the right hand side. He knew nothing about it, Simon Davis. He's put his left foot forward. And he's beaten Yemi at his near post. This pass here caught Davis on the wrong side as it comes back here from John O'Shea. And I know he's nothing about it. Such a small target to hit from that angle as well. He's desperately unlucky. Great offer here from O'Shea. Trying to pull it back for Rooney. That just about puts Fulham to bed, you would think. A disastrous end to the day for Simon Davis. <laughs> and Manchester United's afternoon made perhaps not quite complete. They've still got time to add to this tally, and it's all boosting their goal difference, which uh, might be a significant factor, certainly in the struggle with Arsenal. Here's Davis. Bullard, now Nani, Rooney, Simon Davis, here's Johnson, Smirting, Johnson's ball across, Moritz Boltz, Able to bring it under control. This just about sums up Gollum's afternoon. It was wrong side of O'Shea there, Simon Davis, but when O'Shea throws it back, completely involuntary, the extension of the left foot there, and just enough to, to beat the enemy is near post.
Here's Scott. Arache. Manchester United substitution and that is the player coming off Anderson coming on for him well, was it a good afternoon he was the one who was asked to provide much of the width earlier on in the game and he didn't let Manchester United down that could be involved straight away here showing interest in that is uh, Aaron Hughes Is struggling. The left arm of Wes Brown that did the damage. Typical game for uh, Johnson to come into for his first start facing the defending champions. Defending champions who've really shown their metal here today. 15 minutes away from securing another impressive result. But another gloomy day for Fulham, and that very much reflected in the expression of Mohamed Al Fayed. He's changed his manager to try and change his team's fortunes. But this will be just one win now from 10 in charge for Roy Hodgson. And no let up in Fulham struggles. I don't think he really would have been expecting anything from this game anyway, Rob. But what he won't say, want is a, is a real tasting here that might further affect him at all. I think there are other more winnable games for sure than what remains of the, the, the season, Fulham. But they're starting to run out of games now. Crucial end to the month coming up for them. They've got uh, Newcastle, who've been on the slide recently, and Derby. It could be important games to this Fulham side. Is Smirting. Now Koncheski. Away by O'Shea. Ronaldo. Scholes looking for Rooney. Away by Hughes. This is Bullard. Reeves. Now Brown. Here's Bullard. Still Terry. Moritz Holtz. Way by Hargreaves. That's Rooney. Bullard. Skulls. Ronaldo. Davis. Anyway, this time to Owen Hargreaves. Pollard. Stalteri.
Holtz. It's hardly a ride for Paul Stalteri. Yeah, it's a good chance to put something into the back post. And even with the game gone, he's, he's disappointed in that, so he should be. to go and as comfortable as that score and looks at the moment for Manchester United Ronaldo and Rooney combining to find Anderson Brown Ferdinand, now Scholes. Ronaldo. Rudy said that. Ronaldo again. Hughes, now Scholes. Anderson, Rooney. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll take the full time whistle right now for uh, the dressing room. A little bit tired, United you know, starting to find a little bit more space and they're, they're enjoying it. Here's Scholes. For Park, Konczewski in the way this time. It's Thirteen goals in four games now for Manchester United since. The upset against City. And from that clearance, Rooney had hoped it might break for him, but Stalteri got it away, only to be fouled by Rooney. Good example of United's attitude of Rooney not prepared to give it up. The game's won, still putting himself about, still trying to make a challenge. Davis. Konczewski's ball in. Cleared by Brown. Here's Smertin. Now Volts. Johnson. Bullard. Broken up by Scholes. Angerland. Merton. Here's Konczewski. Now Stalteri. I think he had to take the shot on. Once he gets it onto his left side, there's not really a cross on from that angle. Want to try and beat Van der Sar. Another poor effort. Be 
it's a frantic pedalling for safety for Fulham in the running if they are going to stay in this division here's Johnson looking to give them a, a bit of late inspiration there's O'Shea Pride. Hargreaves. Skulls. Ronaldo. Rooney. wins the header Davis now Holtz and Johnson Ronaldo here's Bullard Merton ever in the way. Smart. Smerton Stolteri. Bullard deciding to have a crack. It's a decent effort. At this stage in the game, United quite happy to invite Fulham on to them. United just sitting goal side in good numbers. Having a little rest, you know the hard work's done. Skulls. Here's Anderson. Rio Ferdinand Skulls A straightforward ball to Rooney But Hughes saw that one all the way And here's Paul Konczewski Bullard Davis Smerton Davis and towards McBride but Brown got there here's Stolteri Bullard broken up by Hargreaves who gives uh, Volts a little shove the referee playing a good advantage there for Moritz Volts Vandersar punches, Volts will get another chance here, but stumbles on the ball. I just refused to take the earlier chance on his left side, determined to get it back onto his right foot. In by Stalteri. Kept in by Johnson. Smirted. Johnson. The schools did well to, to get her into his face again. Over pleasing this late spell of possession will be for Roy Hodgson. He knows that his side has just been hopelessly outclassed. This the, the chance for Vols just refused to take on his left side. Determined to get it back onto his right foot and eventually just outnumbered there. Here's O'Shea. Chesky. Chesky. 
corner. We've been waiting for a while to get uh, Eric Nevland on. By the time he does get on, it'll be a stoppage time the way things are going because United have a corner here that they're in no great rush to take. Skulls with the corner. And towards West Brown, clear to Kincheski. Now Davis. Bullard. Holtz. Stolteri. Locked by Evra. Three minutes and it's time are being played. Three minutes have been added on. For all the time, the chance of Netherland having a serious contribution to this game to make are diminishing. Johnson is going to come off though, and Eric Netherland, who played six games for Manchester United, having joined them as a 19 year old. One of them in the Premier League, a defeat against Southampton, comes on to face his old club. Here's Smertin. Now Bullard. Smertin. Skulls. Rooney. Here's Ronaldo. Two breaking to his left, Anderson to his right. He'll take it as far as he can, he plays in Anderson. Struck against Konczewski and now Nevelin gets his first touch to find Bullard. Volts. Bullard. Volts again. Smertin. Volts. Here's Evra. Now Rooney. Anderson. Park. Rooney. And Kincheski's given it away, but Angelan tidies up. Here's Ronaldo. Oh! <laughs> he really fired that one in. Took a big dip, it's a decent save there from Niemi. He had to make some contribution, Cristiano. Ronaldo, been very quiet since he came on. He certainly got his left foot through this, took a big, big dip. Niemi did well. Stage full of making another substitution. Here, Mansi Cabra coming on to replace Moritz Holtz. Could be lucky to have a touch with how much time is left. And he does get his touch, camera. Important one, well, finding the other substitute, Neverland. Broken up by Brown. Here's Davis. Stelteri. And towards McBride, the goalkeeper came and didn't claim it. Here's Diamancy Camera and Simon Davis. It's going out for a fill and throw, but almost an embarrassment. End to the game there for, for Van der Sar. Gets nowhere near that under pressure from Brian McBride. Eventually takes a nick off Hargreaves here at the back post. Manchester United make significant headway in the title race. They've improved their goal difference as well with an emphatic victory here at Craven Cottage. A two-goal lead at half-time established for them by Owen Hargreaves' first goal for the club and Jason Park's first of the season. And their goal difference helps still further with a late own goal from Simon Davis, Fulham nil, Manchester United three.